Hi everyone, so you saw me rolling out those uh, epoxy sculpt for eyelids. So we set them aside and then we'll continue with our, our mount. So right now I'm going to plant the bird on um, temporary base for now so we can pose it and then we'll come back to the eyes. By the time we've done some work, time has gone by and the epoxy rolls, they have hardened up a little bit. You can see the two finer wire is easier to work with right now. So now we got that um, some time has gone by. So now we're going to work on the eyelids. I have it on uh, slower speed. So if you want to rewind and watch it more closely, you can. So it's not uh, in high speed at all. So as I said, um, you got to have your reference points and when it comes to eyes is the front corner and the back corner and what I like to do most of the time I like to kind of like centerize that part of the skin around the eye first so there is not much pressure being put on any part of the skin around the face or especially around the eyes then as you can see I'm moving the skin around just around the eye and okay right now it seems like uh, the skin has dried out on me a little bit so with some dipped into water q-tip I'm making it soft again it can happen you know if uh, in during the blow drying it can easily happen but if you have cleaned out the eyelid skin like the inner inner skin of the eyelids it will soften up quite fine if you've left a lot of membrane attached to the eyelids, you might be in trouble because it's pretty hard to get that thing softened out. This is another way that you can do, pushing some cotton ball in there. And uh, basically make that cotton ball wet after a while and then let it sit there to soak up. So now the cotton is pushing out, so that's why it's basically right underneath the eyelids. And with another Q-tip, I uh, transfer a lot of water and cotton is pretty good to soak, soaking up water and holding water to itself and I basically do it like this and leave it for I don't know maybe five six minutes I keep checking on it and as soon as I feel that it's soft I'll come back and work on it I just make sure that the moisture is trapped under the eyelid now I'll test some time has gone by and the eyelid seems to be quite soft right now So adjusting both sides of the, uh, both corners of the eyes in the front and in the back. And then as I mentioned before, I like to close the eyes, make sure that eyelid is spread evenly and properly around the eye, and then start pushing the eyelid underneath the eye into the clay in order to open the eyes naturally. Sorry, it's, everything is black, so it's a little bit difficult to see.
So now the eyelid is basically looking quite natural the way it is after you move it around and when you push it underneath and underneath around the eyes underneath the clay into the clay but it will look much better if you plump it up with um, to give it that life again with the epoxy roll that you made so what we're doing we're pushing it pushing the skin exactly where it needs to sit and uh, leaving just a tiny bit of its uh, edge exposed so we can uh, slide that uh, eye ring underneath the under, underneath the eyelid. Give it a um, circle shape or a round shape so you can easily um, use your brush that you're using for this purpose only. Um, you can use your brush to move it around slightly and slowly push it underneath the edge of the eyelids that you have left open for this purpose. It's just a little bit of a uh, slow and delicate work nothing that you can't do and dampening your brush helps a lot so it doesn't stick to to the epoxy and pull it out all of a sudden without you noticing it it happens a lot because the epoxy has hardened up for us to to, to be able to work with it but still sticky enough to stick to a dry brush Okay guys, this party is coming to an end as well. Thank you very much again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you picked up a tip or two here and there. And uh, I'm moving on to, I believe, the next part which might be the last part of this series. And then that would be posing and uh, grooming the goose. We will see you tomorrow or the day after. Thank you very much. Have a good one.